Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 14th CSS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to style divs using CSS. Um, and divs are something that's pretty important when it comes to developing websites and web pages because divs allow you a lot of control over the way a website looks uh, and feels. And uh, one way that you can think of divs is like divisions. Um, for example, a web page might have a div uh, for a header, they might have a div for a navigational menu or a navigation bar or something like that. They might also have divs for a main content area, maybe in the middle, uh, perhaps side areas, um, footers, any, everything like that uh, you can use divs for. So uh, as you can see, divs are pretty important when it comes to uh, using CSS and developing and designing web pages because they give you control over where you can put things and how you can style content and, and how, it, how everything should look. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what we have right here. Uh, right here, this is just again like in the previous tutorials, it's just an HTML header, uh, header one tag that's been centered. And if we come over here to our HTML code, you'll notice that we have our CSS Tutorial 14 uh, title and our link to our style sheet called styles.css, which is in the same directory. And if we go over there, you'll notice that it's empty. So let's go ahead and add a div to the web page. And the way that you would do that would be just to say uh, div. And then, like many other tags, we just can just close the div. Uh, so this is basically a div. And anything inside these two uh, div tags is going to be what's inside the div itself. So let's save this, come over here, and refresh. Then you'll notice that nothing has happened. And the reason that nothing's happened is because we actually haven't uh, put anything inside the div, nor have we given the div uh, borders or anything that we can use to recognize it. So there is a div on this web page. It's pretty much hard to see, I guess you could say. Uh, but there is one on the web page, um, technically. So let's go ahead and give our div uh, an ID. And many times when you're using divs, you're going to want to give them an ID or a class. Uh, that way, when you're styling multiple uh, divs on a web page, you can keep control over which divs or which set of divs has which features and styles and stuff like that. So actually, let's give this a class. So we'll say class equals main. And I'm just going to call it main because this is going to be the only div on our web page. Uh, and a lot of times you might have a main area on a web page or something like that. So uh, it's up to you what you want to call it. I'm just going to call it main for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, and let's go in here and add some text. We'll say uh, this is just some text. And if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll see uh, that now we just have some text on a web page. And this is pretty much what it looks like if you were just to add text without putting it in a div. And that's simply because we actually haven't styled the div yet. So if we come over here to our CSS, we can now access our div using the main class by using a period or a dot and saying main. And this is how you would use a class selector. If you have an uh, element selector, you would just say div. And again, if you have an ID, you would just say something like main or whatever you called your div. Uh, so let's come in here, bump this down, create a code block. And in here is where we're going to start styling our div. So what we're going to do for this is uh, first show how you can create a border in a div. And if you watched the t previous tutorial on how to style tables using CSS, uh, you know that we talked about the border tag or border property for divs uh, in CSS. So what we can do is just tab over here, and we're going to create a border. And we're going to say border, and we're going to give it a border that's one pixel uh, in terms of width. So one pixel, and we're going to give it a solid type instead of dashed or dotted. You can choose whichever you want. And we're going to just make it black. So if we come over here, save this, and we refresh, you'll notice that now our div uh, has a border that's one pixel solid and black. And you'll notice that this div takes up the whole page here, the whole width of the page. And by default, this is what the div will do. And it's going to be as tall as the text that's inside of there. So there's not much space between this, and we'll learn in the next tutorial how to take care of that. So this tutorial, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about borders. And if you would like to set a border not using the shorthand that we talked about in this and the previous tutorial, you can actually come over here and set the elements of the border separately. So you can say border uh, color. You can say black. You can say border style. Uh, and we can say, for example, solid. And we can say border width. And we'll say one pixel. And this is going to pretty much give us the same effect that we have already. So if we come over here and refresh, you'll notice that nothing has changed. Uh, one thing to take note of, though, um, when you're styling divs is that you can actually, uh, for the border color, you can use color names, you can use hex color codes, so you can say something like uh, 000, 0, 0 1, 2, 3, and we'll see what that ends up being. Uh, looks like it's still black. We'll see. Just try saying 1, 2, 3. also looks black. Let's try saying F, 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 F. 
which is white. So you can go ahead and style the border different colors you'd like. I might have just specified things that didn't actually change the color. So uh, feel free to do that using the hex color codes. Uh, we'll just say black for right now. For border style, there's a couple different options that you can choose. You can say, uh, for example, dashed. And if we save this, we can come over here and refresh. And you'll notice that now our border is dashed. Um, you can say dotted. And if we save and refresh, you'll notice that it becomes dotted. Um, and I just like to do uh, solid for right now. Um, and again, the border width, if you change the border width, it's just going to basically uh, change the thickness of the line that goes around the div. So uh, for this being 10 pixels, you can see it's pretty thick and unsightly. So we're just going to keep it at 1 just so we know the boundaries of the div. So something else that I want to talk about is the height and width of a div. And within a div, you can change the size of it. Um, right now, you'll notice that it's not very high or not very, uh, and it takes up the whole page, so it's taking about 100% of the width of the web page, and we can go ahead and modify that using CSS. So let's go ahead over here and modify our border back to the shorthand. So border, one pixel, solid black. And let's go ahead and modify the divs uh, or the classes height and width. So we're going to say height, and we're going to say 100 pixels, and we're going to say width. Uh, we'll say 300 pixels. So if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that now our div uh, is a lot smaller in terms of width and it's bigger in terms of height. So we can we change the way our div looks. And uh, you'll notice that the text stays within the div as well. So what we can do is actually go ahead and come back over here and see that we can also use percentages uh, instead of pixels. So if we say 100% for both of these and we save it, you'll notice that the div is very 100% uh, takes up 100% in terms of height in the web page um, and that doesn't account for this, so it's actually going to make a scroll, and it's going to take up 100% in terms, or 300% rather, in terms of width. So it's going to make us scroll the web page uh, pretty, pretty wide. So let's just go back over here and put this back in terms of pixel count, uh, which is going to make things a little bit easier to deal with. And again, you can play with these uh, and just to see what they do and how they work. So if we save this, you'll notice that now it's back to normal. So one thing I want to talk about as well. Uh, when it's coming, when it comes to making uh, or styling divs, is that you can actually center the text in a div. If we come back over here to our HTML page, uh, one way that we can center it, and this is kind of cheating because we're not using CSS, is just by saying center, and then centering the text that way. And if we come over here and refresh, you'll notice that now the text is centered in the div, uh, even though it's not centered in the middle of the actual uh, div in here, um, it's, it's still centered. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to be talking about is how to change the padding and margins of a div. So if you are interested in that, uh, tune into the next tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for this or previous or uh, future CSS or any other tutorials, please feel free to put them in the comments. Um, you can send me an email using the Technical Cafe comments page. Um, and you can also uh, send me a tweet at twitter.com slash jamiemcg uh, or twitter.com slash technicalcafe. And something that many people, I'm guessing, don't know about is the Technical Cafe forums. And I'd like to start up a community where we can talk about uh, technology and programming at technicalcafe.net. Um, so again, thank you for watching and have a great day.